You know what they say, when kayaks become boats, uh, you go to Bass Pro and break in another 1500 or something like that. Right, Andres? Ooh, what are we doing? What are we doing? We are... <laughs> we are... We're about to go in there and buy some... So look at this guys, pontoons, here are Bass Pro shops. Are you, oh you're on. What is this? Let me see what they're selling. Ooh, right here, boom. $25,000 as shown, $236 a month, but this is like a 10 year plan. 180 months actually, more than 10 years, 9.9%. Let's see what else they have here at Bass Pro Shops. Should be uh, boating season and everything. Look at this Tahoe, $46,000. Boom. This thing could take, look at that, eight people. Oh, the real bass brush. They do have a lot of boats now. We got a skiff. This skiff is $22,18. No, $22,815, $211 per month. And it comes with a Mercury 40. This thing probably is gonna go 30 miles an hour. And um, how much money is this again? $22,000, not bad. Add a trolling motor and stuff like that and graphs and everything and you're looking at $30,000. And you could have the same setup on a kayak for like what? Less than five, um, let's be fair, more like eight to $10,000. And you could probably fish the same areas, to be frank, because you're gonna be fishing in shore. And what you do is just drive closer to the area. I think there is a smaller skiff right here. Boom, four people. Over here. Okay, this is some makeup. You could take five people, $35,000 plus all the oceans, $40,000, $372 a month. This is more like your fishing boat in short, B hole fishing fishing boat, 18 footer, and it comes with a 115. It has a jack plate, not bad, not bad, but again, forty-five thousand dollars. So you guys know how it is. Every time I bring up a super expensive kayak, everyone says, "Go ahead and get a bass boat." Do they mean this? <laughs> a monoc manoco. Pelican Manoko pedal drive kayak. This is the original pedal drive kayak guys for 800 bucks Look at this. You got this. I remember the first time I ever got on one of this was like in 2000 Oof, So many years ago 24 years ago the original Pedal drive kayak and look at the rotor system right here as was up. I remember this thing being very slow but going back to that comment about Everybody talking about, oh, you know, just get a bass boat. You mean this? Like, get this? $43,000 bass boat? Is that what you mean when you say get a bass boat? It's one of these trackers. This looks nice. It's a Ranger. Ranger is owned by Bass Pro Shops anyways. That's why they sell it here. Nice console. <laughs> Whatever trolling motor. Could fit five people. Supposedly. So... Is this what you mean? Or you mean this? Maybe this. This one is $21,400. Um, you could take four people with you. It's a 16.8. This is a Pro 170 tracker boat. You got a nice seat over here. Let's see what it comes with. A 50. So you're probably going 30 to 40 miles an hour, hopefully. And this is a bass boat, $22,000. Look at the fancy graph that it comes with. Amazing. See what I'm getting at, people? Like, if you want to build this up like we build up kayaks, <laughs> you're going to spend a lot of money in the process. Okay, so I also want to take a look at the engines. A 60 Merc on sale now. Look at this. $7,350. A 50 is only $6,800. A 30 is only 5347 A 20 
the I got this one at home on my 300 toffee. It's basically the same motor, more torque, more speed. 3,647, 3,837 for the 15. This is basically the same engine, same, and they're awesome. I really love the arm, how it works and all, all that stuff. It's a great, great motor, and so far no no issues, no problems. I really enjoy having that one on, on my on my 302 feet. That's not a bad price either. But if you have a skiff or something like that, you're probably gonna go for 9.9, $2,397. I don't see why you would get an eight. And if you have a solo skiff or something like that, look at this, a five, you're looking at 1,597, a six, I think, again, same motor, same weight, just a little stronger, 1,739. If you need something smaller than that, 2.5, dollars I will get the Suzuki one because it weighs a lot less than this. And if you want propane, look at this, $1,297. They're on sale now. Let's keep going over here, see what they have. Boom. Well, this one is cheaper. Maybe you mean this when you say just get a bass boat. Like $17,000. $700 and bro look at this you don't you don't get much like you could have the best of the best in terms of kayaks top of the line super rigged up uh, light scope all the graphs everything and not spend ten thousand dollars or you could choose to get the basics of the basics trolling uh, um, boats because you want a boat right that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like, look at this. This this one looks nicer. This one is gonna make a statement on the water. This one is gonna say, "Hey, what's up? I'm here, right?" You get a nice trolling motor. You got a lot of stuff. You're looking at thirty-five thousand dollars. How many kayaks can you get with that? I mean, nothing wrong with having boats. I'm just saying, there's a price to pay. So, going going over here. Oh, we're getting expensive now. Minn Kota, forty-five thousand dollars. What is this? Nitro. Nitro, I should say, not nitro. <laughs> Got that nice shiny bling bling, 150. We're getting expensive now, we're getting fast. We're getting maybe 60, 70 miles an hour. What is this, another 115? Nice deck, more fishing areas. Oof, we, how much is this one over here? $32,000, not bad. That one is has bling bling, so it's gonna cost more. Let's keep going and see. Oh, I see some different trolley motors. Oh, getting more expensive. $60,000 with that Lawrence Ghost unit right there. Boone, nice fancy color. Z19, 200. Hey, maybe you are uh, going a little faster now. What? And 55,000. Bunch of seats. Look at that. What do we have on the back? Probably another 200. So, 250. Oh my God. Maximum horsepower you can have on this kayak. I mean, kayak, <laughs> on this boat. You're probably going what? Like 90 miles an hour? And you're gonna pay $55,000 for this. And uh, looking at this, it looks very not the best it's not that exciting it's not that exciting <laughs> wow what do you guys think about bass boat maybe this is not one of the nicest ones but we arrive here look at this kayaks ascent 699 dollars that i bet you that comes with a seat a little tiny kayak they do have a few kayaks in here jump boat everybody says just get a jump boat right that's the second thing 1170 dollars for this is probably a 10 footer yeah, it's uh, it holds two people, 380 pounds, ten, 10 foot. Like, they say, just get this. It, you barely hold two people on this. Uh, it may be better off getting a tandem kayak or maybe a canoe. Like, I'm going to do a series on jump boats because... So over here, we got a pun crawler, 10, 800 bucks. Like, this thing here, I don't, I, the specs should be here, 500 pounds. This plastic boat holds more people than that one over there like this may be a safer <laughs> ride than the jumbo and you got the 133x uh they supposedly say they made changes but no people look 
Look, this is Bass Pro Shop. This is 2024. Look at the scopers right there. Look at the same flimsy plastic and the water is going to pull there. I don't know what you guys are talking about that they made changes. They haven't. At $1,099. I also heard this one, the 128. X is a better design, but again, same problem. Look where the scopers are right there, and it's flimsy as well, too. So, if you buy one of these boats, what I recommend is never motorize it back, don't put a lot of weight on it. But if you do have to do that, open that hatch over there and put a bunch of foam underneath so you make this rigid and somehow it drains. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about that they made it better, they haven't. Uh, if you want to see a full video about this boat, I have them. And now you got the sitting side kayaks, 500 bucks, frame seat, cool. Those are nice. And what else do they have here? They got paddles, not a bad price for the paddles. And the other, more like your hunting boat, $21,000, your tracker, fancy. This is, this is not a bad looking boat, you know? And if it's white, maybe you could use it in salt water. I mean, we're in Miami. Ready for the spring. We finally were able to look at different things. Look at that Ranger, man. Look at that Ranger with that. What is that? That's a three, 350 B10? No freaking way. What? That's crazy. 2510 Ranger with a giant Mercury on the back. And that's why, because that much? $132,000. Salt water fishing boat with a big engine, dude. Like uh, this, when you guys talk about just get a boat, what I think of is getting this. That. <laughs> and that's, look, this one is even, even more money. $178,000. Ranger, if we look here in the back, the same Barado B10, actually it's a 400, that one's a 350, this is a 400, Phew! let me get out of here before I, you know, I, I, whatever, it's just too much, hey, no, I'm good, so, um, hope you like this video, part of the daily challenge, tomorrow I'm going to be back with another video, let's go, so guys, you know what they say, when you get a boat, it's breaking or cost another thousand, I would say 1600 inflation.